It's weird, I told the investigator, how these things always seem to happen when some big national scandal's going on. Everyone gets distracted. How well did you know Mr. Walker? Uh, um, not very. He, he worked in that cubicle, uh, but hardly ever spoke. Quiet guy. I'll bet you hear that a lot, right, officer? Notice any unusual behavior? Before he shot up the mall? Nothing like much. Thank you. If we have more questions... Oh, oh, uh, wait! He had two phones. Every morning, he'd place one by his keyboard like a ritual. Don't know why. In two years, I've never heard it ring until the other day. Walker nearly fell out of his chair. I saw him answer, and a minute later, he just left the office. Forever, it turns out. Maybe he got some bad news? I swear, the investigator stared at me for a full minute. Then he nodded, noted my cooperation, and moved on to my co-workers. That was a while ago. Not long afterward, I was working late when I heard a phone ringing. I traced it back to Walker's desk drawer, beneath photos of his daughter. It was his spare phone. Stupidly, I answered the call, like they knew that I would. They said that they may call again someday. And then they explained why I would answer. In graphic detail. I'm very quiet these days. I come to work, pull out the phone, and place it where I'll be sure to find it if it rings beside my family's picture. And I check the internet, praying there aren't any big scandals breaking. When there are, I pray my name hasn't reached the top of their call list yet.